What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and today, today we got paddle shifters from Big Sur Autos and if you're actually driving a Mazda 3, a lower trim and you actually want paddle shifters but they don't come with it so what will you do? Are you gonna go buy stuff from Mazda and you have to find parts and shit? Do not fear, Big Sur Auto is here. They are gonna solve all your problems. You just want the paddle shifters, they will send you the cables the instructions and the whole set for 225 if I'm not wrong. Um, I think it's 225 or 255. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna drop the Amazon page down in the description below and you guys can check them out. And if you guys want to know how to hook this on the Amazda 3, watch my video, continue to watch all the way towards the end, and I'm, I'll guarantee you guys this shit will work. Who doesn't like popping bubble wraps, really? Anyways, proceeding. So, in the package, there's only two stuff. A small zip lock with cables. Um, this hit string over here, I added it myself. Because later on, you want everything to be tidy. You don't want all these cables to crack. You know, like you don't want them to break them apart. So, next thing is the paddle shifters. This came in pre hooked on in it, but it's not, it's not fitting, it's not tight at all. So it's still loose. So as you can see, it's in this box. We, I mean, in this ziplock, we have like four screws. There's two over there. There's another two over here. Yep. So uh, it's supposed to tie this, tie this thing down later. Get it on. And um, this clipper over here, this green hit thing over here, it's supposed to fit in here, and the cables are gonna get into the console. So these are the tools you basically need. You need this that you can get it from the back of the trunk. Uh, if you're driving a Mazda 3, your nut size should be a good 21 millimeter. You need this to remove your steering wheel later on. And a set of screws. Um, my recommendation is that try to get this long, like not too long, like something that's not longer than this. That should be about my finger size. Uh, yeah, as long as that. Because later on when you try to pry your the back of your steering wheel in order to remove the airbag if it's too long it's not gonna fit right now what you have to do is um there's three clippers that's holding the airbag okay so in order to remove it you might need to start your car and you need to turn it you see this is one if i'm not wrong it's one of this holes later i'll show you and two around here and three. This is how it's supposed, the gap is supposed to come out. It's supposed to come out this much, like all the way around. Uh, I know I fuck up the camera stabilization, but yeah, it's supposed to be like that. So it pops out like that. See? So, okay, hang on. I'm just gonna leave it there. So I totally forgot that you guys need a 10 millimeter socket. So after you remove the airbag, you have to remove the negative point of here. Okay, and also remember, make sure your uh, your steering wheel is lined up straight, so it won't be like sideways later on when you put it back on. So yeah, once you remove it, take it out and just put a cloth or whatsoever. I'm just gonna do it. A flat screw so what you're gonna do is you want to detach the airbags cables so you can start putting on your paddle shift and everything your fancy stuff you know the fancy stuff so yep what you want to do is you open up this carefully so um, this one over here it's a yeah it's like a clip you just have to remove it Stuff. 
Then now this one, you have to pry it again. So try to get a tiny flat screw. You pry the center part of the black colored thing over here. You actually open it. So there's two different colors. So what you do is you pry this. both up so you can just you want to know you can just start slowly twisting it not twist it so much just slowly just keep rubbing it yep so I pry this part when I see the black part coming out I pry this part over here. I'm not sure if the camera can see it. But yeah, I pry it over there so it becomes more easily. See? Like, I'm not sure if you can see it. So, like, I just twist it slowly. Done! Boom! Air back out. So, this white colored thing, uh, I'm gonna remove it first. Just got it out. Cha ching So, here's the tricky part. Right, I told you guys. You guys can try to use your actual one that you got from Mazda. Yep, it's 21 millimeter and for sure it should work. But yeah, since I already oh, and it works. And yep, there you go. Woohoo! You want to keep this properly, okay? Because if you lose that, you're not going to use your tire nuts to hold them on. But yeah, let's see the magic. Ooh. So it should be able to pop out. Oh wow. <laughs> what you want to do first is that I'm going to show you guys over here. I'm not sure you can see it. Behind this blue cable, there's this black thing over here. This is a clipper too. You might want to push it out later. So you can detach the whole back thing off of the steering wheel. So what you got to do is... Let's just try to tear this. All right. Yep. You just have to put force and tear it. Just you can't be scared, you know. See? So it's out right now. So what you want to do next is that you get your new retro feet paddle shift. Paddle shift. And so honestly you've seen me do a lot of force on it, so I'm just gonna put a lot of force in. So yep, now the whole thing is fit in. Check if there's any gaps. Try not to have any gaps. Okay. So what you gotta do is you got four additional screws that keep in the back I show you earlier today. So what you wanna do is take all the screws, pop it in here. It's on, it's all nice and snug, lines are all we can get. So now you gotta make sure you know which one is ground. So from what I know is my dark blue ones, this one is ground. This one, uh, it looks like turquoise to me, like the Tiffany blue or green, I don't know. And this is the baby blue. So you see this? three holes you can see it right over here that three hole in this socket that's three holes just nice over there uh, so what you gotta do is the ground is the middle hole okay so you might wanna just put the ground in Tiffany the ground and the light blue so what I found out is that the ground is the center for sure, it's not going to switch. So because the negative and the positive switch the other way around, I had to switch the Tiffany from the right side to the left side. And the blue one from the, right, from the left side to the right side instead. So right now it's working fine. So basically negative is on the left, positive is on the right. So pretty much that's what you need to do. So actually what I found out is that we don't need to remove anything from here. 
nothing at all if you're driving a Mazda 3. So I have a Mazda 3 i Touring and currently it doesn't like the pre-wiring was supposedly done. Like what I'm trying to say is let me show you. What I'm trying to say is this cable right here is practically useless because when I open everything up down there I see wires that's already connected so if I'm not wrong the Japanese import one they actually do the pre-wiring for you so the wiring are done so you don't actually need to do much so what you need to do is just put this thing put this thing on and so right now I'm just gonna put on a time-lapse video to see uh, to put to put all this thing back on which it's basically a reverse of how you took everything out so yeah so one thing's for sure you have to make sure that your steering is straight so this thing will all, this thing will move this is the steering so this thing must be like this make sure you check your tires like are they straight and are they lined up so when they are then here's the part you gotta put back everything in it so you slide the airbag cables back in line it up straight Make sure that two thingy right behind fits back in. Right, so now it's like that. So that's pretty much it. One thing we gotta do is we have to put this back in. You clip back on this one, you clip back on this one on the top, which is the ribbon. I mean, the cable that you did earlier. So the Remember to, remember to push this two black thing back down. That's like a lock. So once you push that thing back down, it should lock it down. And voila, we're all set to put this thing back the way it is. So right now, let's just done. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Put everything back on and you're good to drive. So yeah. And anyways, I appreciate people that's watching my channel right now and I appreciate you guys that's supporting me right now. Um, most importantly, like I always say, more good stuff coming and I'm trying my best to do the best. So, peace. So, the video was supposed to be done already, but I guess this is an additional add-on. Supposedly, I ordered an add-on for the pedal shift. It's like this metal plates for the pedal shift to make it look nice. and. The estimated date was supposed to be June and this video right now is recorded on May and I actually thought like we would just exclude it but instead it came in today on May 18th so I'm just gonna put this in the video and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks.